the crossover between games and films is shortening all the time. The two industries are quite different, but they are merging together. That kind of idea of taking the real-time game engine, pushing out final quality renders, for us at DNEG was super exciting. The size and detail of assets, the richness and quality of lighting that comes out of Unreal nowadays is insane. The scene in our movie with the dojo, it's a homage to the uh, first film, but this time Lana wanted to have the dojo itself on a small lake that sits in a wooded environment. And it felt a great opportunity with Unreal to build a sort of simulation environment. Just from a story point of view, it's an artificial construct that Neo's entering, so we could kind of create our own matrix within a matrix of visual effects. You know, we can use this game engine within our VFX pipeline, which is quite exciting to us. Lana worked with Epic to help create that environment. It was sort of structured as three separate lakes with the two bridges joining them together, surrounded by a forest of beautiful autumnal trees. The challenge there was it's in the middle of a lake. So we would, knew we would have to make sure that we are able to achieve the reflections exactly like how we wanted it to and make sure we sell the water because that was such an essential element of the environment. From a pure technical rendering standpoint, that's fairly difficult to do, especially with Game Engine. But thanks to the ray tracing that we were able to use with Unreal Engine, we are now able to do that and to a quality level that matches what's required for movies. And all of this is just happening in real time. So once you create your environment, it is done, it just works. What you see in the final image for the sequence is mostly all coming directly from Unreal. So that is quite a unique thing to say because traditionally we would definitely use Unreal for previs and post-vis, but this was the first time where I truly wanted to say what you see in the final film is coming from the Unreal Engine. In rendered VFX, we're so used to seeing things take hours, sometimes days to render. But having that in real time and being able to see it at a really decent quality still blows my mind. You want to tweak a light in a scene, you want to change the sun angle uh, for a specific shot, you get that instant feedback. You don't have to press a button, hit render and wait for 25 minutes. Instant results, everyone's happy. <laughs> being able to spend more time artistically rather than being constrained by the technical side of things, I think that is a huge benefit to Unreal and real-time workflows. You know, one lighting artist or one environment artist might submit two, maybe three shots if they're lucky. With the Unreal Engine and the render queue integrated into our pipeline, we had the ability to submit over a dozen uh, on a daily basis. The movie Render Queue really surprised us from the point of view where we could leverage the engine in ways that we didn't think were possible. So for example, we had to separate the volumetric into its own render. So traditionally with the movie Render Queue, that's not possible as a preset. So we made a preset through a game mode that triggers blueprint logic that would modify the scene in such a way where all the assets turn black. And that gave us purely the volumetric that was written into an EXR for the compositing department so they can fully control how much or how little fog they want within their shot. And this was all seamless for the artist. It was exciting to be part of you know, helping shift and develop the, uh, the Unreal tool towards you know, production movie making. I'd like to think that we helped bring things into visual effects that weren't necessarily thought of or weren't necessarily there. What you can actually see in the present day is the public release of the latest version that people have access to has a lot of the features that we originally asked for. So it's definitely great to see and it will only help films moving forward.